Hello and welcome to ALW Research Team. I'm in Nottingham today with Anne. Hello. Look like we're coming down to track bed level now. Trek and Explorations Channel features exploring lost railways, hiking, travel and canal boating adventures around the beautiful countryside and cities waterways. Ant's aims are to walk and record every UK towpath, as well as uncover lost history along the way. Ant's channel also features me! From Trek and Exploration, check the link in the description box. Today we're going to be looking at Snenton Tunnel, which is over there. And this was a railway bridge, this is Carlton Road, there. Down here, this is Porchester Road, the railway used to come in down here. There was a brickworks over there, and that was accessed from that was accessed via a tunnel called Fifth Tunnel, and it was quite a steep incline. Wagons were hauled up to that by a stationary engine. Going back this way, there was Thornywood Railway Station that closed to passengers in 1916. There was two platforms over there, and this was all part of the Great Northern Railway. It was also part of the Nottinghamshire Suburban Railway, which was used for freight, namely the brickworks and other things that way from the Snenton Tunnel. So we've got a permission visit today into the tunnel and we're just showing you a bit around here as we get ready for the permission visit. So we're just on Carlton Road here. This is part of the remaining part of the bridge. Uh, obviously the railway went underneath, but we just found these blue bricks on the on the top here. And they are all the way from Tamworth in Staffordshire, which is it's quite a distance. So the the brickworks over there were employed to do this. They got them from uh, Tamworth. You can see the size of these bricks. I've got quite big hands. And the bigger than my hand and this is the only remaining part because that side is completely demolished and filled in so just on the other side of the wall that is Carlton Road there and this is what would have been the railway cutting now filled in and just a grassy area and looking over there this would have been that would have been the railway bridge that went underneath and it was all filled in with rubble from the brickworks when that closed. We've just been looking at this viewers and we were thinking this section of wall here had been cut out after the railway closed but the kerb stones down there they're quite old and when they shut the railway and cut it through they wouldn't have finished it off like this so we're now thinking that this this area here was like this when it was a railway and this would have been some sort of ramp down for maintenance of the railway people and there's an old catch here and that would have been back from the railway days another relic there on this piece of history on the Nottingham Suburban Railway also the Great Northern Railway As I say it's 183 yards long so we've definitely been in longer but I don't even think it's going to be the shortest one we've been in. What's the shortest one you think you've been in? Uh, it'll be Sugarloaf or Weedley yeah, on the Hull and Barnsley Railway. Yeah, so... so about 100 metres long, I think. But it's a first-time experience for me. I've never walked down here in my entire life, and I've lived in Nottingham for most of it. So, viewers, we're down in the cutting now, and this is the approach to the Snenton Tunnel, which is just here. Now, this tunnel is sealed off it's bricked up and there's a big metal door as you can see it's open now we've got an organized permission visit a little later today we've just come down early to to film the cutting film the entrance do our intros and outros things like that but we've noticed the door is already open so we're gonna knock on the door and see who's in there we believe it's the air rifle club people so let's go have a look film me running off and then do a benny hill thing so 
so I'm just I'm just outside the portal here and me and Ant were just talking this is this is almost 50% filled in the actual track level would have been about this height again down because there was this was a double width line and you won't even get a locomotive through there it's not tall enough so this is this is still filled in even though we are quite far down and that would have made this embankment here a lot steeper and a lot deeper as you can see the the edge of the tunnel there the portal is 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 almost filled in so like there's a lot more come down this since the railway was open it's almost like there's another level of the the cutting has been filled in as people have thrown things down look, which is quite messy so that is still probably 50 percent filled in from what it used to be so we're now above snenton tunnel walking towards the other portal due to the shorter length of this tunnel there isn't any vents so there's no features up on the surface of the tunnel itself and we're just walking 183 yards to the other end to find the other portal if it's still there do we know if it's even still there on i've no idea um i think it would have roughly been about just before where them houses are built which is just behind those trees so chances are it's very filled in it's here somewhere so we're going to try and find it any remains so back soon so just over there viewers is green's windmill and it's turning today and in the distance if you can if you can see it on your tvs or devices you're looking at there is a ratcliffe power station behind it behind the windmill so there's two very different eras of the industrial age in that shot as we continue down here looking for the other end of the Snanton tunnel if there's anything remaining we've been looking on rail map online well i say we ant's been looking on rail map online doing all the donkey work <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it's this way. So we're going to be looking down here. So we think the tunnel portal was down here somewhere. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the other portal of the Snenton Tunnel. Check out Ant's video, link in the description box, to find out more, because he may have found where it was. So viewers, we're now above the railway tunnel portal, which is just here. It's fenced off, so people you can't fall off it. Yeah. Um, it's just here it's still finished to a high standard the brickwork there still in good condition and then we're going to go down there soon all part of this permission visit so there are going to be members of the public there amongst this tour with me and Ant there so I might not do much talking so there might be a bit of voiceover for the for the inside stuff so we'll just see what footage we get so you never know with these organised permission visits so it could be children there and things like that so I don't know what footage I'm going to get let's just try so this is it we're inside the tunnel now that is looking down towards the portal we couldn't find that's a small firing range for air pistols things like that and that is looking back out through the doors to the portal that we were at earlier so this is the start of the tour. The gentleman there in the hat is the man who owns the Firing Range Club and I believe he even owns the tunnel as well. Details of the tours that we were going on, I'll put a link in the description box. It's a lady, it's a Facebook group, she's a lovely lady. Excellent tours because these really are areas that you just will not get permission to enter without the dedication and time that Janine, the lady on NRR Tours, puts together for us. See, so just above and there, there still remains of the soot on the tunnel, the tunnel wall and tunnel roof. Well, as previously mentioned, this tunnel's too small or too short to need any uh, tunnel vents, so they haven't put any in. 
down in the tunnel now and as we thought the tunnel is a lot lower than the than the portal the level at the portal we've gone down another three or four meters haven't we uh, so this is the tunnel it's now used as a firing range but as previously mentioned we do have permission to be here you can look at the tunnel walls and the tunnel roof and there is still a lot of soot deposits left behind from the railway era over here one of the tunnel portals is completely bricked in and that is because they use this as a firing range that is the firing point there so they don't want they don't want rounds hitting that and ricocheting off that is one of the recesses or refuges as they call it so as we go down this way down the firing range which is quite straight it's quite random this because I have actually filmed firing ranges before and I filmed railway tunnels so for the one to be railway tunnels and a firing range is quite strange you know right it, like I film firing ranges sometimes anyway and then I film railway tunnels yeah and now I'm doing double I'm doing both of them things that's the just, well, something I was thinking of is what you see you see where the refuge been filled in just there look. yeah I would say the top of that white paint is roughly where it's infilled on the outside yeah I'd agree with that yeah, I'd agree with that. Definitely. See where those lights are on the back wall? Yeah. That's yeah, be that, that, that is about that level, yeah? yeah? So we were way high where we would have been. We can see the entire refuge there that's been filled in. And like the barn, barn still tunnel and the Briarly tunnel, we can see that the bottom is arched. That is completely bricked in, so there'll be a, there'll be a refuge there building so we've got some railway sleepers here these have been left behind and they've reused them to put lights in to light the range which is it's a nice little range this but IMAX forces and um, firearms I've kind of done firearms I'm not interested in them anymore so they probably won't feature much on this channel but they're still there Fire and range it is. There's that look. Oh. So as I'm moving down the tunnel now, we can see that the height here, that is the height of the infill that we saw outside. And it's just peculiar that it's been painted white to that level. As we can see, lots of soot above. We've just passed one of the bricked up recesses there, or refuge. Uh, as we get to another one there, another refuge there that's been bricked up. The now this is an interesting feature. The drain here, the central drain, like we see in many railway tunnels, is still extant, and there's lots of soot and coal deposit buried. There's even actually there's a lump of coal left in the ground. That is a lump of coal left behind from the railway era. There's lots of sand and dust left behind. These are railway sleepers from the tunnel itself. Just behind Ant there, that is the other refuge that's been ripped up. So this, as you can see, is a beautifully lit firing range. It's been a firing range since 1971. So thank you to the Nottingham firearms club for allowing us to come down here as we go down this way down the railway tunnel you can see the end there that is infilled the other portal we found it and it is infilled uh, it's actually someone's back garden now so that won't be part of the film um, that is now the the butts of the firing range so the rounds come fertling down here into the soft sand at the end which is the end of the tunnel and as as an explorer this is probably the best lit railway tunnel i've ever been in where we can really see all the key features on the tunnel roof it has it has sort of cleaned down with the the constant fresh air that's uh, pumped in here by the ventilation system of this tunnel now as we get to another recess there all bricked in filled in 
more railway sleepers and then there's interestingly this ledge here there's a ledge and I've never seen that in a railway tunnel before can you see that viewers that ledge running along there so the tunnel wall comes down comes down comes down then there's this extra ledge can anyone tell me why it's been done like that that isn't a feature I've seen before I mean that could be extant in all railway tunnels but I've never seen it before so is anyone out there is anyone watching do you know what this two course layer of bricks is, bricks is for here in this tunnel so the tunnel track bed looks like it's been scraped back a bit but you can still find as dotted around and as seen in all the other railway tunnels I've been in if I just cover that light up a little bit the, the pits of the drains are still here in between the firing points so if they've dug it out they haven't dug it out that far let's move along so we've got the old engineering signs here that'll be 80 so that'll be referring to 80 yards into the tunnel one of the marker points within this within this tunnel explore at Snaton. Snenton, I meant Snenton. <laughs> so on this explore today, we've got Wobbly Runner. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link below, check him out. And uh, obviously I'll be here with Anne. Yeah, I've been here all day. Yeah. I live in, in the tunnel? No, Nottingham. No, Nottingham, <laughs> yeah. He lives in Nottingham. <laughs> on a boat, not a tunnel. So as we're getting towards this end, and it's now used as a butts for the firing range. We might climb up there and see if we can get to the actual end of this tunnel where it's filled in. So it's 183 yards long. And see how far we can go. You can see some moisture coming through the brickwork there. It's only very slight, but it is, it is still there. So let's go up to the other end, go to the, the butts of the firing range and see if we can find anything that remains of the other portal. Let's go. I'm trying to remember what year. Yeah. It's like this. Apologies for the grainy footage viewers. I filmed this on a GoPro with just a small um, small GoPro light and due to the, the sensors on GoPros are quite small so once you get into a low light situation the ISO goes really high and it makes it grainy like this yeah let's get up here so this is soft sand they'll be full of uh full of firearms rounds in here because as i mentioned this is an active firearms range but not today luckily went up the infill you can see where all the sand's been thrown up yeah towards the tunnel roof we'll just let this lady do a, a long exposure yeah I'm just going to turn my video on I'm going to go to the top of the bank and stand up like that okay okay so this is the towards the end of the tunnel as we climb up we're climbing up this is the roof of the tunnel here and this is the infill from the other end of the portal we can start to see rubble here and that is the infill there that is solidly infilled so the this end of the Snenton tunnel is completely lost As you can see some slight subsidence there you can see the bricks there is a big crack all the way through along its entire width as the bricks have parted there don't know if you can see that on this GoPro footage but well, that is the the end of the line of the Snenton tunnel here let's move further along towards oh that looks like concrete infill can't 
out see if that was genuinely the end of the tunnel or not well, there we are just rubble and concrete now and then behind us is the firearms range so looking down towards the accessible portal of the tunnel that is the soft sand that was added in the 1970s for this firing range this is the infill no i didn't so we've been asked to come back down now so me and Ant are going to yeah, walk like back it. down through the tunnel and show you all a bit so let's go strangely slippery this is sort of weird it's solid with like slippery bits on top so Ant's just getting the death ray out, which is, what, what's the actual name of your torch again? The death ray. The death ray? No, it's a um, Fenix TK75, 5,100 lumens. Oh, All right. Brighter than the sun. <laughs> Brilliant. And it is. So, it's just going to fire it up, I think. It's not really good now. Though, you can see the end of the portal now, or the end of the tunnel and where the portal used to be. We found just in this short area here, this is one of the remaining refuges inside of the tunnel it's partially filled in well that is one that hasn't been capped off you can see the remnants of soot and smoke from the railway days <laughs> Just stand like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you've been bouncing. Yeah. <laughs> Who was those two comedians? It hail and pace. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they used to stand like that. Boy, didn't they? you Boy. don't want to cover this fucking <laughs> tunnel. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the end of the video. Uh, <laughs> I was I was dared to do that by Ant from Trek and Exploration because he did it on my Sherwood Rise video. <laughs> Sherwood Rise Tunnel, not to be confused with the Sherwood Tunnel on this railway because there's four more tunnels. There was Ashwood, Thorleywood, Sherwood, this one Stenton, and then there was another tunnel, the Fifth Tunnel, and they simply called it Fifth Tunnel. And uh, this was Snenton Railway Tunnel. Really, really worth a visit. Did you enjoy that, Ant? I did, because, you know, 40 odd years of living in Nottingham. I'm younger than 40, by the way. Um, I'm not really. I'm um, not. I've never even walked up to this. It's one of them ones that's like, you could pass it up there. Busy road when you was growing up as a kid. I had family living over there. Never came to it, ever. Never seen it. It's never mad, is. isn't it? Yeah. And there we are, Snenton Tunnel. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to Ant's channel. I'll leave a link below. Uh, go watch his video, like it, subscribe, and all that algorithm type stuff that people do. Please do that. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already, because it really helped me out when you do that. I think I said that right. And uh, press the like button. Any suggestions for me and him to do other stuff, drop it in his comments below. As long as we can put it on YouTube. And, and it I isn't can, weird. And I can have a cup of tea when I want. Yeah. You've yeah, got to bring I like three. Yeah. Oh, I'll bring the biscuits, you'll bring the tea. Smash and, uh, it. That's it. Bye. Ta -da. See, they love a bit of banter as you. I don't even know why I'm walking backwards. I didn't even plan this. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>